Hi, my name is Amin and I'm a graduate student at Columbia University. And today I'll be presenting my abstract in neural match called Controlled Switching Linear Dynamics, a framework for causal interrogation of neural networks. I also have to mention that this is a joint work with Laura Lean Luciaco, who is a postdoc at Columbia University. To quickly introduce uh, the idea and our main framework, um, first I'll give a quick motivation so um, in uh, computational neuroscience, a fundamental goal is to build models that uh, causally reflect the properties of neural systems. And by that, what we mean is that we want to uh, build models and fit models that behave similar to the brain during the stimulation, not only uh, for, for spontaneous activity and for stimulus-driven activity, but also when you inject some sort of perturbation into the system, we want a model to reproduce the, the observations. And to achieve this, um, we need to inject all the different possible perturbation patterns and record the responses in response to, to those perturbation patterns. And uh, this will allow us to build a, a, or fit a model that reflects uh, perturbation properties of the systems too. However, this is computationally intractable simply because there is infinite uh, perturbation patterns. Therefore, we need to pick uh, uh, the perturbation patterns in an elegant way that uh, allows us to, uh, to fit um, causal models uh, without uh, this computational uh, intractability. So here is, uh, here is the approach that we propose. Uh, uh, instead of uh, perturbing using all possible patterns, we first fit a switching linear dynamics to the observations from nonlinear systems. These nonlinear systems could be data from the brain or recurrent neural networks or other uh, uh, analytically, uh, other nonlinear systems with analytical expressions. And um, once we fit a switching linear dynamical system to, to those uh, observations, uh, we know that the dynamics in each piece is described by a linear dynamical system. Now uh, we're gonna use the fact that we have analytical expressions for linear systems that give us maximally informative directions uh, for, for each of the linear pieces, meaning that uh, they, we can find points in the state space that if we, uh, if we uh, control the state of the system towards those points, they're gonna maximally distinguish between the switching linear fit and the original nonlinear system. So um, uh, we'll use this uh, analytical, ex analytical expression and we're gonna uh, find the, the, the input stimulus uh, or input perturbation pattern that uh, uh, controls the state of the system towards those maximally informative directions in the linear state. But once we inject this input to the nonlinear system, uh, this gives us a new set of observations. And by adding these new sets of observations to the, uh, to the previously uh, recorded observations, we're, we're gonna be able to tune the switching fit to the system and make it more causal. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps of, uh, of our proposal for a toy model. Our toy example is not a Rasta nonlinear dynamics, as you can observe in the, in the left side. So this is just a spontaneous activity from Rustler nonlinear dynamics. Uh, middle plot is a projection of this uh, nonlinear dynamics into two dimensions, X and Y. And here we are focusing on a point and we are, we are showing the Jacobian uh, or the linear approximation uh, given by computing the Jacobian around that point. And then uh, in the, on the right side, we see the, this analytical expression that uh, gives us the, 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 maxim, the, uh, the uh, maximal uh, direction, maximally uh, informative direction um, of, uh, of uh, the, the evolution of, a, of this red point class. So we start from this red point class we evolve this red point cloud according to some linear dynamics here given by the Jacobian. Uh, and uh, each of these points will eventually go to another point, uh, which is represented by this green point cloud. And um, there is a direction that has the most variance uh, in, the, uh, in the final point cloud. And that direction, uh, we don't need to uh, sample from the points. We know the analytical expression for that direction. Now, uh, starting from this nonlinear uh, observations, we're gonna fit a switching uh, linear dynamics to it. Now here uh, I'm showing the switching fit with two states and we can also uh, sample from this uh, fitted dynamics. 
And we can also visualize um, the, the two Gaussian, uh, Gaussian um, autoregressive models uh, that, uh, that are fit to this, uh, to this nonlinear system. Here I'm, sh I'm showing the projection um, of those two Gaussians in, uh, in the XZ dimensions. And here I'm showing the same thing in the XY uh, projection of the XY dimensions. Now, um, based on this analytical formula that we have, we can find the stimulation pattern or the perturbation pattern that uh, controls the state of the system in the, in the linear dynamics towards the desired point that we have. And the desired point is just the maximally informative direction that we have the analytical expression for. So here we have four uh, different uh, iterations of our model. The green point is the point that we want to uh, control the state of the system towards. And then uh, the red uh, is, the, uh, is the controlled system, controlled linear system. And the black is when we inject the same control input to the nonlinear system. So ideally, if you have a perfect fit, we would want these two to, to be on top of each other completely. But uh, if they're not on top of each other, every time that we are finding this control law, we're gonna add it to the observations and we're gonna refit the model. So here is uh, our augmented observation after adding these uh, optimal um, uh, or uh, maximally uh, distinguishing uh, control laws to the system. So this is the augmented state space after injecting those stimuli. And this is, these are uh, projections of the state space into X, Y, Z. And here is a control law that we are getting for those observations. Um, and um, we still haven't done uh, the quantifications, uh, but Every time that we run this model, the, uh, 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 the fit to the, the switching linear fit to the system becomes more causal. Um, so in conclusion, we developed a framework uh, for uh, efficiently finding perturbation patterns that distinguishes between our model fit and um, our nonlinear dynamics. And uh, we also provided a recipe for tuning the parameters of the uh, of the switching fit to the system to make it more costly. Thanks for listening.